today we're going to do some more mean value theorem practice. Um, I'm going to go over three examples with you, and then I'm going to show you some examples that I'd like you to work out on your own before you get to class tomorrow. So the first one is um, f of x is equal to x squared plus 2x minus 1 on the interval between 0 and 1. So remember with the mean value theorem, it has to satisfy a few conditions before you get started on it. So let's list the conditions or the steps you need to go through. Conditions. Okay, first of all, is it um, continuous on the closed interval? And in this case, this is just a quadratic, a polynomial. So yes, this is continuous. It doesn't have any breaks in it. So that's the first thing, yes. Um, the second condition, is it differentiable on the open interval? The open interval, so you're not including 0 or 1 when you're finding out if it's differentiable. And quadratics are differentiable everywhere, so that's a second condition. So that's really the only conditions that we need to satisfy before we start. So what we, we, what we want to do is we want to find the value of c. And c is going to be between 0 and 1, such that f prime of c is equal to the slope of the line that connects those two points. And the slope of the line is f of b minus f of a all over b minus a. And those are the specific um, points. So we can just get started here. Um, we're going to find f of 1. f of 1 is 1 plus 2, which is 3. 3 minus 1 is 2. So f prime of c is equal to 2 minus and f of 0 is negative 1, so 0 minus negative 1 all over 1. f prime of c, well f prime of x is 2x plus 2, so f prime of c is 2c plus 2, right? Instead of doing an f of x, let's just plug in a c in for x when you take the derivative of this original function. So 2c plus 2 is equal to, this is... Um, 3. So you're subtracting 2 from each side and you get 2c is equal to 1. So c is equal to 1 half. And that's your value of c and that's in the interval between 0 and 1. So what this is saying is that when you connect those two points on that parabola, um, you'll get a slope that's equal to the slope at x is equal to a half. Second example. Let's do f of x is equal to, how about the cubed root of x squared on the interval 0 to 1. First of all, is this a continuous function? Well, if you can put in any number between 0 and 1, and this is going to be a continuous smooth function, if you wanted to check it on the calculator, you could. But it is continuous on 0, 1. Is this differentiable? Well, the derivative of this is 2 thirds. Well, let, let's um, rewrite this. f of x is equal to x to the 2 thirds power. And so f prime of x is equal to 2 thirds x to the negative 1 third, which is the cubed root of x in the denominator. So 2 over 3 cubed root of x. Is this differentiable on the open interval? Well, the only place it would be not differentiable is at x equals 0. But this is def differentiable on the open interval between 0 and 1 because we're not plugging 0 in. 0 is not included in this open interval. So it's continuous, it's, it's differentiable. So now all we have to do is, is take f prime of c 
equaling f of 1 minus f of 0 all over 1 minus 0, b and a here. So f prime of c is 2 over 3 cubed root of c is equal to um, f of 1 is 1, f of 0 is 0, and 1 minus 0 is just 1. So we have 2 over cubed root of c is equal to 1. So now all we have to do is cross multiply. 2 is equal to 3 cubed root of c. So if you divide both sides by 3, you get 2 thirds is equal to the cubed root of c. And then to get rid of the cubed root, you just cube each side. So 2 cubed is 8, 3 cubed is 27, 20, 8 over 27 is equal to C. So there's our C value in the interval between 0 and 1. Example number 3, let's say f of x is equal to just plain old cubed root of x. And let's go through the interval between negative 1 and positive 1. Well, let's see. Is this a continuous function? I think it is a cubed root of x graph. Let's just take a look. Where's my calculator? Oops. Math, option four, the cubed root of x. Oops, I don't have a very good window here. So here's a cubed root graph, and it's a continuous graph between negative 1 and 1. There aren't any breaks. You can see that it's always defined. But is it differentiable on this interval? f prime of x is equal to, well, this is x to the 1 third. So f prime of x is 1 third x to the negative 2 thirds, which is 1 over 3 times the cubed root of x squared. Well. On, this is not differentiable on the open interval because if you put an x equals 0 in here, you get an undefined fraction. So the second condition for the mean value theorem, this is not differentiable on the open interval between negative 1 and 1 because f prime of 0 is undefined. So right there, we don't even go through the mean value theorem because if one of those two um, assumptions is not met, then we can't, we can't do it. So, so that, those are the steps that you have to take. And what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to, um, I have a worksheet here with some mean value theorem problems on them. So the first two of them have a graph. And all you really have to do is, is stop the video right now and you can copy these problems down. And you can actually go through this graphically if you want, if you want to connect f of 3 with f of 6 and figure out the slope there. And then when you find the value of c, just see if the tangent, um, the tangent line is parallel to the, the connecting line between three, f of 3 and f of 6. So here's a, here's a quadratic function. Here's a cubic function for you to try. And when you get those done, I've got a few more, eight total. Let's see, it looks a little blurry. Let's see if I can focus this a little bit better. All right, so that'll give you some um, a little bit of work to try, and I'll check your homework tomorrow, or we'll go over all the solutions to these tomorrow. But what your job is is to find the values of C that satisfy the mean value theorem in all of these over the intervals that they give you. So have a good night, and we'll see you tomorrow.